Fraser. Dendrocalamus asper, also known as giant bamboo, English, dragon bamboo, China, bamboo betong, Indonesia, below betong, Malaysia, botong or butong, Philippines, Baitong, Thailand, and matong, Vietnam, is a native of Indonesia. It has been introduced and is now grown throughout Southeast Asia and in other tropical countries in Asia, Africa, and Latin America. Just like other bamboo species, Dendrocalamus asper has many different uses. This particular species can be cultivated both as a source of raw materials and as a source of food. In this presentation, we'll look at the viability of cultivating Dendrocalamus asper for its shoots. Yes, Dendrocalamus asper is one of the bamboo species recognized around the world for the culinary value of their shoots. Its young and tender shoots are consumed as vegetables and are considered the best among those of other tropical Asian bamboo species with edible shoots. Dendrocalamus asper bamboo shoot is a good source of protein, carbohydrates, and dietary fiber. It is low in calories and fat. It has no cholesterol. It contains potassium, calcium, manganese, zinc, chromium, copper, iron, and lower amounts of phosphorus and selenium. Fresh shoots are a good source of thiamine, niacin, vitamin A, vitamin B6, vitamin C, and vitamin E. The most common and practical way of propagating giant bamboo is by branch cutting, although it can also be propagated using rhizome, comb, or seeds. Growing from the seeds is done very rarely as flowering occurs intermittently, with time intervals greater than 60 years. The advantage of using cuttings instead of culms for propagation is that the culms would be available for other uses. Dendrocalamus asper is a sympodial bamboo or clumping bamboo, which does not have the invasive properties of running bamboos. It has shorter rhizomes that stay close to their point of origin and do not spread so rapidly. Dendrocalamus Dendrocalamus asper can grow at a low elevation up to an altitude of 1,500 meters. However, it grows best in humid tropical environments at an altitude of 400 to 500 meters, where annual average rainfall is about 2,400 millimeters. It prefers well-draining heavy soil, but can grow well on any type of soil, even on sandy and rather acidic ones. A study entitled Cultivation Prospects of Dendrocalamus asper backer for edible shoots in semi-arid and humid tropics of peninsular India shows that they can be cultivated with proper management in semi-arid environments. However, shoots grown in semi-arid environments exhibit lower quality in terms of size, weight, and nutrient contents compared to those grown in humid tropical conditions. A comparison of nutritional composition is shown in Table 1 from the said study. In this table, the numbers corresponding to the shoots grown in humid tropical regions region are greater compared to those grown in semi-arid region. Besides quality, the study found that the number of shoots produced in semi-arid environments is also lower compared to that in humid tropical environments. The plantation in the humid tropical region produced 25 shoots per culm in the fifth year, while the plantation in the semi-arid region only produced 16. New shoots usually develop in the beginning of the rainy season, during which they are harvested. However, this typical shooting season can be extended by modifying the cultivation and management practices. The study said Dendrocalamus asper can be exploited for edible shoots all year round and can be a profitable commercial venture by providing supplementary irrigation and proper management. Continuous monitoring of the culms and proper timing in harvesting the shoots are essential in ensuring their quality. To maximize the quantity of their edible portion, shoots must be harvested as soon as they reach 30 to 40 centimeters meters in height, one to two weeks after emerging from the ground. Each culm is expected to produce shoots every year for at least 40 years. However, the maximum quantity of edible portion of the shoots are reportedly produced on the fifth year onwards. The study is based on a 40-year period and considered only 70% of the projected number of shoots are harvested each year. The remaining 30% of the shoots were considered retained for clump sustenance. Also considered in the analysis Analysis are all the major costs incurred. These include labor, site preparation, pitting, soil working, fertilization, cost of planting material, transport, irrigation, fencing, watch and ward protection, harvesting of emerging shoots.
shoots, infrastructure and labor for processing of shoots and annual marketing. Table 2 provides a summary of the financial analysis done. The net present worth NPV benefit cost ratio, B over C, internal rate of return, IRR, and the equivalent annual income. EAI were calculated and compared for discount rates of 10%, 12%, and 15%. The result revealed that cultivation of dendrocalamus asper for shoot production is not a viable venture in semi-arid regions but can be highly profitable in humid tropical regions such as the Philippines and the rest of Southeast Asia. As mentioned in the beginning of this presentation, Dendrocalamus asper has many different uses. Harvesting and marketing shoots is just one way one can generate income from it. We will cover other uses of this bamboo in other videos. If you're not subscribed to this channel yet, please subscribe now. And please don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever we post new videos. This ends our presentation for the day. Thank you very much and enjoy the rest of the day. Goodbye. Bye.